In the ever-changing world of education, new technologies mean new ways of learning. Go to any college bookstore and you'll find much more than just books. Take for instance this interactive CD-ROM, Anatomy and Physiology Revealed. It's taking the learning process to a whole new level. Anatomy and Physiology Revealed is a software program. It allows students to review the anatomy at home, in lecture, during class. It's different than actually going into a cadaver lab and doing the real dissection. This way they're allowed to um, take away different layers of dissection at their own pace. And it takes 2D imagery and mimics a way to create 3D images. And it's dealing with human anatomy, human dissections. And so for students who are exploring it for the very first time, um, it has a lot of versatility in the fact that you can control your dissection layers and you can control the view of anatomy that you're seeing. These are created views of anatomy that we've never seen ourselves. Even though we dissect and we see it layer by layer, we never have the ability to turn it transparent, stack it, and get this 3D imagery. So you can still see the skin and you can look right through it, almost like having x-ray vision. I think the students really like it. They really enjoy being able to learn the dissections. And I think for students in an undergraduate world, they don't have the ability to go into cadaver labs and see real live dissections. So this allows them to actually look at a dissection and it kind of comes to life for them and it has animations as well as a self-test. Um, there's also histology, so there's a lot of different avenues and a lot of different features about the program that makes it unique for a student to learn, and I think uh, probably very conducive to want to learn. While this software can be found on hundreds of campuses around the world, you may be surprised to learn that it was created by a team of experts from right here at the University of Toledo. It takes a big team. Um, we've got a team here in CCI of software engineers, multimedia specialists, medical illustrators, and then we also work with a team of content consultants, which are anatomists. We contribute the content to the program. Uh, that means in the form of actually doing the dissections, actually doing the photography. We write all the script, we write the text for the animations, uh, we have to proof that uh, we are literally the content experts. And the medulla oblongata. And we go layer by layer through the dissections all the way down to the skeletal components. And then we take these layers and these photographs and we park them into Photoshop and we critically align the anatomical structures, do some retouching, and then we stack it and assign an opacity slider, which allows us some control over the visualization process. I think the situation here at uh, the University of Toledo is a bit unique. Uh, in that you have uh, the content experts, the faculty that are actually in the classroom teaching this course, uh, that are providing the material, uh, and then right on the same campus we have uh, the technology people that we can work with very closely on a daily basis. I think you'll find that really uh, fairly unusual. Uh, in most cases you'll have people scattered around the country doing a lot of this communication by email and phone, whereas we can just uh, walk in the next building. Before it became Anatomy and Physiology Revealed, this project began as a concept called Anatomy Revealed. It was created specifically as a learning tool for students here at the medical college. But how did this project make the leap from a regional study tool to an international consumer product? After we started to put together a number of these images, we put them on our website to just show everybody what we were doing and maybe draw some interest to see if there was some more investigation that could take place. And uh, sooner or later, before we knew it, we got a contact by McGraw-Hill Publishing Company. And through that contact, um, we've been able to expand the product and it's been able to reach a far bigger market than we could here with our medical students. Now it's reaching over 400 schools in 25 countries and it's expanding each year. I think the market's getting bigger and bigger. So it's great to be able to reach all those undergraduate students and allied health students and even medical students with the program. Undergraduate learners in the United States study either human anatomy as a separate subject or a, co a combination of anatomy and physiology. And in fact, most of the students study the combination of anatomy and physiology. So the partnership with McGraw-Hill actually allowed us to expand what we had originally done, in, in a sense expand our original concept, to uh, uh, cover both of those subjects, anatomy and physiology. We uh, uh, are a great team. Uh, uh, we work together. Uh, everyone respects uh, what the other one brings uh, to the project, and it's, uh, it's been a very productive experience. With the next version of anatomy and physiology revealed in the works, and new technologies emerging, the possibilities are endless. No one can say for certain what the future of education will look like, but the dynamic partnership of the University of Toledo's anatomy professors and the Center for Creative Instruction will be pushing the limits and reshaping how we learn. 
For Plugged In, I'm Brianne DeMoco.